Hi, I'm Danish Ahmed, uh, co-founder and CEO of Hospals. Medical tourism is a $78 billion space globally. Uh, patients travel from developed countries to uh, the, you know, lower priced countries for uh, dental and cosmetic treatments. Uh, you know, for example, uh, American and European patients are traveling to countries like Turkey, UAE, Thailand uh, for cosmetic treatments. And then you have uh, patients from emerging countries like uh, Africa, Bangladesh, uh, Uzbekistan, Mongolia, Myanmar. They travel to also uh, developing countries because of availability of healthcare. So there are these two different audiences. Uh, and as middle class is growing globally, health consciousness is also growing globally. And therefore, patients are reaching out to explore better health care. Uh, you have a very, very large number of patients, uh, several million patients who travel for uh, surgical treatments that are not available in their country, but they have now uh, the affordability to go abroad and avail those treatments that are not available locally. And similarly, you have patients in uh, the Western world who are now more, uh, you know, uh, cosmetic conscious, and therefore they are traveling for hair transplants and uh, dental treatments. Uh, in countries where it is available at a lower cost. So these are the two large trends. During COVID, medical travel was, was hampered significantly. It was growing at 25% per annum prior to that. Uh, but now, as soon as flights have restarted, we are now back to pre-COVID numbers already. Uh, and there's a huge backlog of patients that are very keen to travel. Uh, and uh, you know, so we are ex and, uh, expecting this uh, significant number of patients who are going to now com come back and start traveling and medical tourism's growth will come back again. India is extremely strong in the medical side of, of medical travel, not the cosmetic side, but the medical side. Uh, there are you know, almost 2 million patients that have been coming to India every year pre-COVID. Uh, almost half a million come on medical visas, the rest come on tourist visas. Uh, that's, the, that's the market estimate that we have. Uh, and they cumulatively generate about $4 billion of medical uh, travel business every year for hospitals in India. Some of the largest hospitals uh, get 10 to 15 percent of their business from international patients who come to India, mostly for cancer, cardiac, uh, transplants, uh, orthopedic care, as well as neurological care. And India's high quality surgical talent and high quality nursing talent is its key strength. Uh, and that's how the, the, the country has gained confidence of all its neighboring countries across Africa and Asia to become the hospital for Afro-Asia. Afro they are uh, children, they are old people, they are uh, now even government-sponsored patients, NGO-sponsored patients that are coming to India. And going back uh, healthy, they, we have seen cases where uh, patients have come when they have been told that they will not survive. Uh, they got treatment in India and they went back healthy. Uh, families have been saved and millions of families. You know, So India, India's contribution to the, to the healthcare situation in Africa and in Asia and developing countries around us is tremendous. You know, it's it's uh, it's it's beyond uh, words. And how we have contributed and helped these families in their desperate times is extremely commendable. The Indian government has recognized this. Uh, medical travel is a champion sector. Uh, Heal in India is a key focus for the government. Recently, at the investment for Ayush summit, uh, Prime Minister Modi spoke about the investment opportunity in medical tourism and how Heal in India can become one of the biggest brands of the decade. And I have personally had the privilege of engaging with the government at different opportunities. And since they are, their efforts are very, very significant, they are sincerely looking at medical tourism and how this can grow and India can become the, the, the number one destination for medical travel. That is the aspiration and the ambition with which the government is pursuing this. Uh, and you know, it's not number two, number three, it's the number one position in the world that we are chasing. We have very uh, important strengths. We've got Ayush and wellness, uh, which is very unique to India. We've got a cost advantage, which is unparalleled. There are surgeries in India that can be done at 1 50th the cost of the same surgery in the US. Uh, and therefore, and the quality of Indian healthcare uh, has, you know, is remarkable, not even, not only in India, but even globally. All the surgeons in different parts of the world are from India and therefore Indian quality of healthcare is well recognized. Our investment that we have done in medical colleges and now we are continuing to do in medical colleges is creating the healthcare talent which is required to serve the world. And for sure India will be the number one destination for medical travel and here India will become a very well recognized global brand. The key challenges that are there in India right now is that 
the the structure of the industry is such that the quality parameters are not well defined when patients are coming to india there are there is no structure for example there are tour operators there are licensed tour operators available for tour for tourists that are coming to india but for medical tourists coming to india there is no structure available right now and the government is working on that and as also the the ecosystem outside the hospital while the healthcare and the hospitals in india are very high quality they are certified uh, when the patients are actually spending 80 to 90% of their time outside the hospital in guest houses uh, and and you know in markets uh, and that is the ecosystem that needs to be brought out uh, and and improved significantly because that is where most of the patient complaints come from so while india's healthcare is high quality the ecosystem around that healthcare needs to come up uh, you know if you compare countries like turkey uh, they have significantly invested in the ecosystem around uh, the hospitals and therefore the it is it is generally medical tourism there where patients are not only coming for healthcare but also for the tourism and the quality of infrastructure around that healthcare the key opportunities in front of india uh, in terms of medical tourism are as i mentioned the strengths uh, ayurveda ayush uh, people look at india as god's country and therefore that aspect of incredible india coming here for relaxation detoxation is genuinely taken there are lot of western countries where patients uh, and and customers come to india for relaxation detoxation uh, that aspect is growing very well and as well as the medical pure medical side of of indian healthcare is also growing we have got now treatments like proton therapy available in india which are not available in almost all the countries around us in asia uh, and therefore uh, that quality of patients is coming with more high quality unique medical treatments coming to india we will continue to be the hospital for afro asia and can you continue to attract millions of patients to india for medical treatments we started hospas in 2018 uh, with the vision to uh, create an organized medical travel platform and become a bridge between the emerging countries and the developing countries taking healthcare getting them healthcare when they come here sending healthcare to them digitally so we do a lot of teleconsults uh, we have served over 26000 patients uh, we have generated over 100 crores of business for hospitals in india uh, served patients from 38 countries uh, and uh, largely patients who are for coming for medical uh, you know chronic uh, and acute treatments like cancer cardiac orthopedic transplants uh and and we've been you know growing very well uh, we had very bad two years in during covid but pre covid and now post covid we have recovered our, our same numbers that were there pre covid we are going very well uh, and we've recently raised a 3.5 million dollar investment to continue our growth and scale of the business so at hospitals we are continuing to deepen our supply we are getting a uh, cosmetic wellness as well as medical uh, hospitals on board we are scaling globally we have set up uh, teams in thailand UAE Turkey to scale up the business globally uh, and we continue to invest heavily into acquiring patients uh, a large number of ngos ministries of health and governments have started working with us we are we are now working on acquiring insurance clients as well as setting up offices this year we plan to set up 22 offices globally uh, through which we can uh, network locally get uh, get patients from different corporates uh, hospitals uh, travel companies that will come to india and experience the indian healthcare both in the medical as well as the iu side given my background in technology i have been an entrepreneur built and uh, you know scaled up e-commerce companies when i looked at medical travel as an opportunity uh, the key element missing here was technology which is a huge scale enabler and that is what makes us very different at hospitals at hospitals patients get a one stop solution where they can get uh, we can find the best surgeons they can teleconsult with those surgeons uh they can uh, book appointments they can book hotels they can book flights they can book translators taxis once they come here that the team that is engaging and managing our patients they are using the mobile apps patients are using mobile apps and therefore we are able to track all the patients uh, even even if we have 600 patients and which is the maximum that we have handled at a time uh, we were able to seamlessly manage those patients because of the technology that we have used and which which is the key enabler and uh, for scaling this business we aspire to become a company that is uh, serving 10000 patients a month and that is only possible with technology which is a key uh, uh, differentiator